We've got an 06 Sun Cruiser 37B landing here, Aylid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, 20, what, 26,000 miles, 290 generator hours. Overall, for an 06, I'm pretty happy with what I've seen. Uh, I don't, I, there's, there's a couple little blemishes, nothing to write home about, we'll talk about. We're gonna see her open, we're gonna see her close, we're gonna learn more about condition and previous ownership history, and you folks are in for a treat today. This is Sharp. Super friendly and accessible in travel mode. Now, pretty much any motorhome needs to be very accessible in travel mode like this. But uh, this one just, it's got this nice, easy, breezy, open feeling where if, whether you're in the cockpit and want to slide out or you're in the uh, little co-pilot map station over here and you want to hop up in from the jump seat and grab a sandwich or a soda or something like that or just hit the bathroom, it's got a, a very easy, open floor plan about it. Um, they've just they just did a really good job like I like how they included the big table But it just kind of weaves in through the uh, kitchen area here um, You know full access to this big walkthrough middle bathroom and what I like about this is uh, the, the little private style toilet right here where you can hop in and out but not block off half the RV and Something else I always like to point out when I see it on a motorhome is when the bed still is accessible in transit Now you might have to clamber over it but you can still get there and rub the sleep out of your eyes, which I think is pretty key. We'll get into some more mechanical stuff as we go outside, but um, it is a thing to hint on, uh, hit on real quick inside. The uh, previous owner of this RV owned a uh, like diesel semi-truck repair facility, so they were folks who had the ability, the know-how, the resources to make sure every square inch of this stayed in top shape shape and working order like uh oops come on camera the generator fired up like in a flash uh we barely primed the thing and it just took right off uh like i said mechanically physically this has just been well kept very sound hasn't been stored outside there's not crazy oxidation on the skin i don't really see anything here that uh, gives me too much uh pause for concern um so let's get started up here i like this euro style little floating chair right there so you could use it for like a little almost visiting station or a place to play cards or have a quick sandwich or something like that but uh it can float around so if you want to get those twin fold away guest chairs and bring them over here to the dining table you could take that floating chair and kind of make a fifth seat you know sort of extra little bonus jump seat um again we'll talk more about the uh mechanical stuff outside but just to give you a, a quick heads up this is on a chevy workhorse chassis with an 8100 vortec thing's a beast you know uh, for something of this size and caliber, really, that's just about the only way to go. All hardwood cabinetry, beautiful touch, day-night shades on everything. Now, uh, real cool is you've actually got power, um, driver, and passenger shades. Let me see if I can reach over here. There you go. Now, the driver can control both driver and passenger. Passenger can only control theirs. The idea being so the driver can always keep themselves from being blinded. Um... Like a lot of motorhomes, you've got like an entertainment house up here, but this actually has a rear entertainment, which is kind of a good way to keep the driver from, you know, being distracted in transit. We do have uh, hydraulic leveling on here. This does have a Prodigy brake control installed, so if you put a little chase vehicle or a trailer behind you, you're going to be good to go there. Um, spinning around, I left just the seatbelt buckle kind of poking out right there just to give you folks the understanding that you do have seatbelts in that sofa. So uh, you can safely sit more people in transit. The full overhead storage with all those breeze windows through the slide is a nice touch as well. Now I don't use a trick fisheye camera lens. This does have a vaulted ceiling which does make it feel a little more nice and open in here. It is covered with that nice soft touch ceiling liner like a lot of motorized RVs and a very select number of towables. Um, it uh, primarily just keeps the uh, uh, noise down in transit. Now you're going to see some niceties in here. This is a, a fairly sharp gasser. You know, uh, we've got uh, not like generic um, linoleum floors. There's a little more of an upgrade material going on here. Not like marble, but you know what? It's kind of that step in between. Now this thing, uh, scientifically speaking, I was doing some calculations. It has about a billion cubic foot of kitchen cabinet storage space. There's a lot of kitchen storage in this thing. Our solid surface counters, nice extension right here for some extra space. Um, this is one of the very few little blemishes I noticed. There is a little crack in the solid surface right here in front of the countertop. Um, it's not really going anywhere. It's not really doing anything. I'm not exactly sure how it happened. I didn't get a clear history of that. But at the same time, if, I mean, you have to get right on top of it to know it's there. It's not like it's really, really, really causing a problem. 
big four-door gas electric refrigerator freezer, which is kind of my preference on something like this without an air ride system. Um, Entertainment over here. I like how they kind of set this up. So you've got a bunch of front entertainment hookups, like if you put in a satellite system. And uh, when you get up here, you're going to find uh, just a whole lot of extra storage. And you're going to find a couple odds and ends and knickknacks and things the previous owners left behind. And the only, it's kind of a good point to talk about why is this here. And they're basically just done RVing. They just Their business is booming, and they just don't have time to go out, and they don't want to let this thing sit and rot. Now, down here, this is an interesting place, but a really smart place for washer dryer hookup. You want to throw a combomatic job down here. It's a nice way to have uh, a washer dryer in a uh, RV that does not, um, you know, like keep you up at night because a lot of the these things have washer dryers in like the rear wall or in a closet in the bedroom or something and, you know, kind of kind of loud and noisy. I love these pantries right here. So you've got sort of like double security with the double doors on this pantry, but anytime storage comes to you instead of you going to the storage i'm always a fan of something like that so we've got a, a very ritzy walk through middle bathroom on the way back to a uh like a rear master suite slash private office combination and uh I, that's it come on come on door work with me here coach isn't exactly level i don't have the levelers down or anything so the doors are all wanting to do wonky stuff these uh like slotted basically looking windows here with these privacy shades for the bedroom this is something again that gives it that awesome office feel to me where it can be so much more than just a bedroom and bathroom i really like how they went about that now this does have um uh, a lot of things you don't always find on gassers like we do have uh let me sw swing you over here so you can kind of see we actually do have a, uh, our energy management system right here can help, uh, you know, keep, make sure that all the power is going to the right appliances, but it does have a small battery tender solar panel on top. That's something I spotted when I was up on the roof. We'll talk more about that out there. Okay, 293.8 hours on the generator, which is running right now and you can't hear it. Um, and we, you know, we have 110 heat. We have uh, even a 110 um, water heater, which is kind of cool. Uh, okay. The countertop in here matches the kitchen. I love that they didn't cut that corner. What you're going to find is the sink in both the bedroom and the bathroom are stone cast. They're not cheaper plastic. So you can put, you know, really hot water in there without causing a problem. Give you a quick peek at the, I don't know, closet style bathroom that we have in here. I do like the extra linen cabinet right here in the bathroom though. Just so that, God forbid, you forget a towel. You don't have to do that uh, naked streak through. Oh, by the way. You do have switches for your ceiling mounted max air fans. And if you just feel like the sun is just beating you to death, um, there are these handy little uh, shades that you can pull and latch up here. Whoop, I missed. <laughs> anyway, shades that you can pull and latch up there to, uh, you know, keep the sun from baking you to death. But you don't, like, if you're shorter, like, say, my wife or my grandmother, we'll, we'll not call them shorter. We'll call them gravity friendly, if you will. You don't have to, you don't have to reach up here. There are switches right there to be able to reach that stuff. So everything on this is very simple and easy to access. This is, without a doubt, not the original factory mattress. It is vastly superior to anything that they would have put in this brand new. Not that they would have put junk in it, it's just that they wouldn't have put it in at this level. There's uh, one of those other tiny little things, like I noticed that this shade over here, it everything's there, it just needs restrung. It must have got loose and they just let it unstring instead of like pulling on it and breaking it. And I would rather somebody do that. It's super easy to readjust right now the tension on that as opposed to actually breaking the thing. Uh, pretty traditional motorhome bedroom where you have that second dedicated entertainment center back here. But what I love is the fact that we have household outlets and big CPAP friendly side stands right in the bed slide of this thing with those cross breeze windows letting through plenty of light. Now, this to me is a stroke of genius. It At a glance you walk in here and the physical feeling the impression that you get is that you've got these rear windows, but then you, you realize very quickly, they're obviously not windows, they're mirrors, but it still makes the bedroom look and feel very large, very expansive, but without loss of privacy, although you do have plenty of windows for light and airflow, so you're not really losing out. This is just an extra handy little utility stand right next to your little office desk space right here, and these chairs can be multi-purposed if you want to take them into the dining area. But what I like about this, is you can kind of have multiple different entertainment zones or you can have a personal private reflection study space office uh like maybe your little i don't know right anytime i see something like this i always imagine somebody with like a like a tablet uh, and one of those bluetooth keyboards over here or, you know chromebook or macbook or something 
typing away, writing a little novel or doing some spreadsheets or something like that. It's a it's a nice, quiet, reserved little space away from everything. Um, the uh, slide over here, by the way, these slides, holy crap, Batman, they are not kidding. The hydraulic slides on this move fast and strong. They don't hesitate. Get out of the way. <laughs> but this is just pure unadulterated storage. You've got drawers from ceiling to floor of the slide here. Again, all hardwood doors with plywood boxing. All sorts of just awesome cap. Ooh, I just noticed the cedar lining in that. That is a nice touch. And then just the little things like you've got the little refrigerator style automatic off lights. Of course, I gotta actually, you know, click the switch to do that. If I was paying attention, you have to shut both of them to turn it off. She's She's sharp, guys. This is clean. I don't, you know, it's not dusty. It's not dirty. It doesn't smell uh, musty like it's been shut up and not cared for for a while. It, it's a lot of times when I do pictures and video, I, I sometimes cringe and I try to remind folks that it doesn't always look in person the way it does on video. And this is one of those cases, I think it actually looks better in person than it does on video. So let's hop outside. Hey guys, full disclosure, something I didn't catch in my first walkthrough. I had all the lights on, and lights eliminate shadows, which makes some things harder to see. I turned all the lights off, and I glanced up here, and I went, oh, oh no, we've got some ceiling liner stuff came down. And I noticed that there's this little runner board that didn't match anything. So obviously this is something that happened a while ago. Um, there's no moisture condensation in here whatsoever. Everything above me is still solid. You know, so I, I'm not worried about any rot or anything like that. As far as I can tell, what I can see on the roof is that the front termination strip had a very brief uh, seam failure at some point, and evidently just enough wind, water, whatever, whipped through here just to delaminate the uh, just the roof liner material off the vaulted ceiling right here. Again. I can't find mold spores, I can't find any problems like that. Whatever happened, again, these were folks who had the knowledge, the equipment, the know-how to do repairs for themselves, but we don't hide stuff at Halet RV. I'm not going to lie about something and uh, just simply omitting a fact to me is the same as lying. So we're always going to make sure you know exactly what you're looking at and that you can buy with confidence from Halet RV. First thing to talk about out here is that just beautiful full body paint package and it is gleaming again this is primarily stored out of the sun so as we walk around it you're not going to find a, a whole lot of like degradation to it or anything like that everything on here is still looking pretty darn sharp um like a lot of motorhomes we have that layer of diamond shield around key areas of the front here to you know keep things like stone chips and whatnot off there uh a feature that is um you know often highly desired but hard to find nowadays is that direct entry driver's door there's a lot of people that just like to be able to hop in and out with having, without having to navigate halfway through the cabin to do it. This is one of those that will offer it. Now, I've, uh, I've looked at the tires, front and back, inside and out. I don't really see anything that concerns me on the tires. Every, I don't see any signs of weather checking in there. There's a lot of rubber left on those sneakers right there. This is something a lot of, uh, often a lot of pushers will do, but uh, have, have that, uh, oh, not pushers, pardon me, they don't need to because they have a full pass-through, but uh, upper scale gassers, they'll have these slide mounted storage so you don't have to go ducking under it. That's just a handy nice touch. Now all the mechanical equipment for these doors right here, they appear to be in real sharp shape and working order. I don't see any problems there. Um, oh, pre-vented for the, the washer dryer, that's sharp. So told you it's got a generator here she is chiming away working like a champ and i don't know not terribly noisy even with that door open right there i love that extra big office window right there in the uh, rear area um if you review our photo tour on our website you'll see where we've got some pictures up on the roof you can see the uh roof material in good shape working order the max air covers are clean i don't see any real rough weather checking or sun damage of anything up there um the uh, hitch on the back, I glanced at the sticker there. I haven't looked at the total specs on this yet. I'll do my best to get those posted. So you folks uh, can either review uh, more information for this thing off our uh, full listing on our website, um, or hopefully I've been able to drop some specs into the video before this for you. But 5K rated tow hitch on the back, so kind of keep that in mind again. This is not on that giant freight liner chassis. It's got the look of maybe of a pusher and kind of the profile of a pusher, but I don't want you to get mixed up and try to put 12,000 pounds behind this thing. 
Um, again, everything's pretty straightforward. I don't see, I, I mean, I see absolutely nothing out here that gives me any pause. And again, a couple of random odds and ends and accessories the previous owners apparently no longer required. I do like that big full pass-through bay right there. Big triple entry power step is nice too. Just because this is on a taller chassis, it does make for easier coming and going. So, overall, I'm pretty pleased with what I see here. I don't think there's anything really to get your blood pressure up over. If you have any more questions, give us a call. 800-256-5196. Hey, are you, are you trying to sneak through the footage there? You failed, buddy. <laughs> anyway, uh, hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer, package deals. You need a trailer behind this. You need a tow bar system. You need anything. You need a vehicle to go behind it. We only do everything at Halet RV. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting to talk about something here. Oh, weather pro awning. So when the wind is gusty, it will close itself up. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.